Hi guys, as you can see here, this is our International Secondary Science 1 book written by Helen Reynolds and it's an Oxford book as you can see here clearly. We will not go further in details about this book but yeah. This is our main page of this book. As you can see here, this is our main page. These are all our contents, okay? As you can see here, these are are all our contents and today we will be discussing the chapter plans and mainly the content 1.1 in which we will be discussing leaves stems and roots so let's get started so here we have here we have this 1.1 okay in which we have leaves stems and roots and the main objectives are to recognize the leaves, stems and roots and know their functions. So first of all, do you know about flowering plants? What are flowering plants? As we all know that flowering plants have different shapes and sizes. So automatically they give different colors to our planet Earth. Okay. And flowers are the beauty. Okay. Beauty. And they give different colors. Let's read this paragraph. Let's read this paragraph. Flowering plants come in all shapes and sizes. It is plants like uh, like these that help to give our planet its color. From space you can see where most of plants on earth grow. Okay, I'm discussing this diagram. The patches colored dark green are rainforest, okay, rainforest, which are green color, okay, dark green color. They are hot, sunny and wet, perfect for trees. Grasses grow best in the areas color, colored yellow, which are drier. Drier areas are mostly the grassy areas, okay, and the areas colored orange get much less rain orange get much less rain okay lack of rain here and only deserty desert plants okay deserty areas desert plants such as cactus cactus is also known as cacti okay such as cacti can grow there i have discussed this diagram this diagram okay from space you can see where most plants can grow okay and i have dis already discussed this diagram earlier flowering plants come in, come in all shapes and sizes okay now we will be discussing the organs the organs and functions of the plant okay each organ in a plant has a different job or function we all know this okay and most flowering plants have leaves stems and roots okay leaves stems and roots these organs work together to keep the plant alive flowering plants grow extra organs and flowers when they are ready to reproduce okay reproduce means ready to regenerate regenerate okay leaves what's the function of leaves leaves absorb energy from sunlight and make the plants food make the plants food which means the process of photosynthesis the stem transport water and food transport water and food and support the leaves and flowers okay stem basically gives the support to leaves and plants and trans uh, helps in the process of transportation of water and food and there we have the roots roots hold the plant okay hold the plant in place it gives firm support firm support hold the plant and absorb water and minerals from the soil as you can see here these are all our roots under the soil and these roots absorb water and mineral from the soil and the stems transport all the mineral soil uh, mineral and the uh, useful substances to the flower okay and leaves here we have the leaves leaves absorb the sunlight 
and uh, helps in the process of photosynthesis and uh, the function of flower flowers reproduce flowers produce seeds so that the plant can reproduce okay the flowers produce seeds okay uh, some plants have seeds some plants do not have seeds but we will discuss them later but as you can see here this sunflower so it has seeds numerous seeds and it grow it can reproduce okay these seeds helps in the process of reproduction okay reproduction of a new plant okay now next page as you can see here we have these extra functions in some plants okay um, I have discussed this plant cactus earlier in the desert areas okay you all fam you all are familiar of this but the interesting thing about this plant uh, is that they don't have leaf okay cactus don't a uh, cactus plants ca plants like cactus don't have leaves so the extra functions i'm talking about here the f extra functions in some plant or a uh, plant's organs have extra functions a cactus doesn't have leaves like most plants instead it has a spines or to protect it okay you can see you can really appreciate these spines here in the cactus plants so it basically protects the cactus or cacti okay it is the deserty plant and it protects the plant its green stem takes over the job of making food job of making food means the process of photosynthesis we will discuss it later and the swelling stem the bulky stem the bulky stem okay the swelling stem also stores water to keep the plants alive okay it this bulky part of this uh, of this stem keeps the stores water okay every plant needs water and it keeps plant alive okay here we have the mangrove plants you can see clearly see the diagram of mangroves roots grow upward to take in air okay as i have the uh, as i have mentioned earlier that roots grow under uh, underground and they take mineral and soil mineral from soil and useful substances and water uh, and then uh, and then stem further transport these substances to leaves and leaves help uh, leaves absorb the um, sunlight and helps in the process of photosynthesis but here is plot twist as you can see here mangrove roots grow upward to take in air okay they need air so these mangrove roots grow upward to take in air so this is the important thing i have discussed here okay if we talk about the lost organs so plants that are parasites means harmful plants okay these are harmful plants not beneficial these are harmful useless plants don't make their own food means there is no photosynthesis like most plants do okay their roots steal fo food and water from other plants like cactus as i have mentioned earlier like cactus they don't need leaves or green stems they don't need leaves or green stems they just send up a flower when they need to reproduce okay they don't need any stem or leaves japanese daughter daughter is an example of parasite okay means that japanese daughter is parasite harmful plant with just a stem it sends suckers into trees to steal food and water basically it absorb it steals the other plants food and water 
and it can make flowers but can also reproduce without them when a bit of stem breaks off it grows into a whole new plant okay it grows into a whole new plant so it is parasitic plant japanese dodder is a parasitic plant as you can see here you can appreciate this point that parasitic plants such as hydronora africana and japanese dodder cascuta japonica don't need leaves means that they don't have the process of photosynthesis because they take food and water from other plants okay these are our important points mark these points these are your important points as the our important points as our um, exam point of view okay leaves absorb sunlight and make food okay means there i have repeated like 100 times that uh, leaves perform the function of photosynthesis stems transport water and food and transport the leaves and flowers okay helps in the process of transportation automatically and roots holds up the plants root gives a firm support to the plants and also absorbs the water and minerals from the plants water and minerals from the soil i'm so sorry okay and then we have the flowers flowers produce seeds for the reproduction for the regeneration for the new plant reproduction of new plant okay these are our four basic questions uh, that i will be asking to my brother abdul malik and he will discuss these questions with you guys okay so abdul malik please discuss these points these are all our question answers related to 1.1 leaves stems and roots question number one roots is spread out underground like the branches of a tree suggest why answer number one roots hold plants and absorb water and minerals question number two most leaves are broad and thin. Suggest why this is helpful. Answer number two. Most leaves are broad and thin to absorb most of the light and make food. Question number three. Stems have tubes running through them. Suggest why. Stems have tubes running through them to transport water and food to other parts of the plant body and these tubes also give strength to the stem to stand straight question number four desert plants often have swollen stems explain how these help the plant to survive answer number four desert plants have swollen stems to store as much water as they can so that they can survive in the severe climatic conditions without water and the example of desert plants are cactus okay our cactus now we will be discussing the question and answer and the blanks of our workbook okay so this is our workbook front page of our workbook and yeah and these are all our contents and we will discuss the main contents about leaves stems and roots exercises about leaves stems and roots okay so now abdul malik will discuss these solved exercises with you guys question number one the diagram shows a simple flowering plant label its four main parts this is root leaf stem and flower read the following paragraph and fill the gaps with words from the box below use each word once 
more than once or not at all flowering plants have three organs all year round roots stems and leaves they also develop flowers when they are ready to reproduce each plant organ has a different function but they work together to keep the plant alive roots take up water and minerals from the soil leaves absorb energy from sunlight and make food a stem holds up the leaves and transports water and minerals up from the roots question number 3 write each of the jobs below in the correct column of the table leaf absorbs light and makes food stem provides and support root takes in minerals and takes in water holds plant in place flower allows Reproduction produces seeds. Question number 4. The structure of each organ suits its function. Name the plant organ that is. Number A. Wide and thin to absorb a lot of light. Leaf. B. tall and strong to provide a lot of support stem c highly branched to spread through a large volume of soil root question number 5 write t next to the statements that are true write f next to the statements that are false then write corrected versions of the statements that are false number a stems carry food from the roots to the leaves false stems carry water from roots to leaves number b the parts of a plant that make food are used are usually green true false sorry every organ in the plant needs water number c roots are the only organs in a plant that need water false okay guys this is our extra inquiry question and abdul malik will discuss this okay abdul malik The main function of a stem is to support leaves and flowers. The swollen green stems of cacti have cacti have extra functions. Describe one of these serve uh, one of these extra fun- functions and explain how it helps cacti survive in desert. A stem of cactus plant carries out photosynthesis so the leaves become spines to conserve water and for defense i hope you like the video this is all about our content 1.1 in which we have discussed leaves stem and roots please like share and subscribe to our channel thanks